Hi everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Now before I go into Sen's Fortress, I am going to upgrade my sword and the body part of my armour. So I should be able to push this up to plus 8. And then buy two Titanite Shards. I was tempted to buy four, but I'm only going to buy two and upgrade this twice. Because to upgrade a third time, I would need two Titanite Shards, but it would be just a bit much, because it'll take away most of my souls. wonder how much this is upgraded to with stats. Pretty decent. Now when you first come into the gates of Zen's fortress there will be a trap which I'm going to use to my advantage. I'm just going to try and trigger one enemy. Oh no, I've got both of them after me. These enemies can be parried, but only their sword attacks. Blocking. I blocked too much. Got myself killed. Now hopefully this time I will only have one of them come after me. And if all three arrows hit it would kill him. But one of the arrows missed him because he walked a bit to the side. But it's okay, one backstab should kill him. I haven't played this game in a while, but I will still try to get a parry. I'm parrying way too early. Parry soon enough. Parry too early. Yeah, it's not happening. Sorry, I'll just kill him by backstabs. the traps up here, what you do is you wait for the blades to swing to the side and then walk past and then wait for the next one walk past. But this next part is not going to be as easy, because there's an enemy throwing lightning. And even when you block them, you lose a bit of health. What I normally do is, I'd be able to keep my shield up and walk around the enemy and trigger the trap behind them. Oh, it's not working. Oh no. I didn't even know this enemy had a grab. That's alright. I'm still going to trigger the trap though.
Now through here there is another snake man. And a trap. So hopefully I'll be able to wait for the next boulder to go by. And then that will be my cue to make a run for it. Now this enemy up here is going to come down after me. Well, he was until he got squished by a big boulder. And there's a trap. Okay. Maybe I'll try to parry him one more time. Not going to be happening in this video. Now with here, what you want to do is just follow the boulder down. Once you get to the bottom, you take a left turn. And then you wait for the hole down there to fill up with boulders and then there'll be one that'll come through and smash into the wall. And this should be the one that smashes the wall. And I'll be going down there later to get a ring. And this chest here is actually a mimic because the chain is pointing towards the front even though this is a closed in space you could still take cover behind the pillars um, attacks to look out for his grab because it does tons of damage and could possibly kill me. His kick does quite a bit of damage and if it's blocked it will take away a big chunk of stamina and his hands is his, like his hands strikes is probably his weakest attack but still does a decent amount of damage and stamina if blocked. And you best be careful M statues because that one lying down can actually block you from walking back. So you'd just be walking stuck in one spot. Just one more hit. And this mimic will drop me a lightning spear. Now for this lift. With this lift you want to get off at the very next floor. Because if you don't, you'll go up into a ceiling of spikes. Now, I don't remember, but does this gate here open? Not from that side. Okay. Okay, now it will be safe to run up here. I'm thinking of going down this other way but I'm probably better off just going back to where I was because there's a ring that I want to pick up down here
There it is. I wonder if there's something down here. Is there something down here? Uh, no, I don't think there is. I think that's just a dead end. Maybe I should direct this ball down the other way. Just to be sure it doesn't get in my way. Yep. Because that place doesn't really lead anywhere, it's just basically a dead end. And I'll go down this way. And we are going to rescue Logan. Because I have the master key, I'll be able to open that cage. Plus there is souls down further down the way that could be opened with the master key as well. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty handed. But I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Oh, heaven, Emerson. Thank you. I'm saying, and I'd love to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Farling Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. And down here is just another dead end. Now I'm going to go down this way, because there's an NPC. And up there there's an item. Might go and see what that is. Hmm. 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 Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be out running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> Well, I sort of sorted the folder problem. Try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head was spin. Hmm. Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah. Hmm. That's okay. You could just sit there. Even though I've redirected the boulders to go somewhere else. Okay, now to see what this item here is. I know that up in that room at the top there's a ring. And it's a pretty decent ring that has good physical defense. Now in here, there's a chest that has the ring that I was talking about. Which I'm going to swap out for. It has really good defense against physical attacks. Oh, hello.
What's that sound? Oh! Someone turned the thing around. And there's no one up here. If someone did do that, they're indeed long gone. But I'll set it back to going through there. Then this trap here, normally you could take a jump after stepping on the pad panel to get through all the arrows, but that time I got hit. Now with these here, you want to just run straight through them. No stopping, just straight through them. And then here there's two snake men, and one of them snake men that throws lightning at you on top of the stairs. But because it's such a short space, I am just going to backstab. I think this is titanite shards. Yep, two large titanite shards. Yeah, that's right. Follow me. And this enemy up the stairs. Just attack away at him. He has no shield, no parry. I wonder if he could actually parry with those swords. Now to think of it. He never seems to have because I seem to just be able to attack away at my leisure. Now through here is quite difficult because there's this guy throwing lightning. Buzz just run through two, wait, and then run through the other two. And now I'm gonna go to the bonfire. All you do is go up these steps and then drop down here.
that'll teach him for throwing lightning at me. Now down this way is the ring, it will be in a chest but it's going to be guarded by a couple of enemies which I'm already familiar with. Now this should come in handy, should protect me if I get hit by a blast of fire. There seems to be an item down there, wonder how I get that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a way up there. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Now the patches of black on the ground is where the giants will throw like fire bombs on it. Now I'm going to level up. I think I should put that into strength. Now what's this item? Souls. And I believe these will be Titanite shards. Yep. Now along here there's gonna be a tough enemy. How I fight him is I wait for him to attack and then get hit in, move away, just rinse and repeat. Oh no you don't. And now that he's dead, I'm gonna come across another tough enemy down this way. He will be on top of them steps and he will be shooting arrows at me but he also has a rapier so he is really tough to beat. He's almost like a mini boss of sorts and this enemy can parry you. So you have to be very careful of that and his rapier could be parried but it's really fast
getting a bit of distance on him, can make him pull out his bow and arrow, where you could get a free hit in. But when you hit him enough times, he is going to come at you with that rapier. And it's best not to get greedy with damage, because as I said, he can parry you. And then he will front stab you instead of you front stabbing him. You know what? I think I'll go for a parry. That's sort of weird. I can't parry a really easy, slow attack from the snake man, but I can parry a fast and difficult one against the guy with the reap here. Now in here there is a rare ring of sacrifice, and in the other chest there's two defined blessings. Going up here is going to be a bit of a pain because there's more of them guys throwing them fire boulders but I'm going to have to make a jump over this way because I want to buy a ring. Oh no I missed it. Oh so that's how you get that. To think that I accidentally missed messed up a jump. I may as well level up before going back up there because I think I have enough souls for at least one level up. Okay, now to make this jump. That's why I did wrong, I should have stayed at that side. Now I'm going to have to spend some souls. Now that should be enough for the ring, because it's 15,000. Ah, what? What, who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sam's fortress alone, but I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. Now the ring I'm gonna buy is one to protect me from lightning. Make something of yourself, but nothing will come of it, and I should know. I wonder if I could get something for a thousand oh, oh, souls. Oh, yes, it's you. What is it? Still something you need, eh? Uh, anything at all? What can I get for a thousand? Green blossom. I'll take the tight knit shard. That'll be bare. Especially for later when I need to upgrade Take some weapons. I am going to grab a key for the cage.
And now, all I really have to do is make a jump to the other side. There, I made it. Oh no, I've rolled off the side. Oh, hello. I fought your type before. Back just before I fought a gargoyles, I fought someone just like you. And I could still parry you. Now I wonder if there's anything down here. Oh, there's nothing down here. I forgot about that. And this is what the keys are for. You know what, I think I'll use it. This will take me down to pretty much the start of the dungeon. But I'm just going to come down here and then I'm just going to walk out of it and walk back in it. And when I reach the top you'll see that the other cage is gone because it's now down at that floor I was at. And up here there's going to be a crossbow guy. And he's going to be pretty easy to kill. And before I go for the boss, I'm going to have to kill this giant. Because if I don't, he will throw them giant cannonball things at me while I'm fighting. I don't want that. I'm trying to get him to do an attack that will tire him out. But I'm not sure whether I can trigger him to do it here. But I don't think I can, so I'm gonna have to go out and fight him. Now when fighting this enemy, I would recommend not to lock on because when you're this close to him, when you lock on it can mess up the camera. But hopefully I can get him to do that attack that I was talking about. Which will tire him out and let me get a lot of hits in. And of course when you're fighting him, if you need cover, you just go in there where the steps are. Even if you need healing, you could just walk in there, heal up. That's the attack I'm talking about. Now I can get a lot of hits in. He's nearly dead. So yeah. Very, very handy to get him to do that. Oh, he's gonna give me it a second time. 
this will indeed kill him. And these here things lying about, you can break them with your own weapon. And now we're going to fight the Iron Golem. You could go down there to summon someone to fight him, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my last Pine Resin, because this boss is weak to lightning. And that's a very good place to use it. Now with the Iron Golem, he has those projectiles that can do quite a bit of damage to you. And another thing is he has an axe swipe and he can grab you with his hand. And of course he also stamps. Oh no, I'm going to get choke slammed. Uh, well, at least I'm still alive. Oh no, I'm going to get choke slammed again. Uh, now I have to fight him without pine resin, but it's okay. It's still doable. Another thing about the Iron Golem is, if you do enough damage to him on this spot of the map and he staggers and you do enough damage when he's like stunned, he will fall off the edge of that. But with the weapon I have, I'm not going to be able to do anywhere near enough damage to do that to him. And when making distance with him, you don't want to make too much distance because of his projectile attack. Oh, I attacked the wrong time. Plus locking on to the Iron Golem can be a bit troublesome because it can mess up the camera when you're really close to him. When he's doing the stamp, you want to attack the leg that's not stamping. But that time when I did get stamped on was because I walked too close to him. Instead of re like walking up to the leg that was not stamping. Now if I do enough damage when he's like this, he'll fall on his back, allowing me to get more hits in. But that wasn't happening because of the little damage I'm doing. Oh no, again? It's alright, I'm still alive. With four Estus flasks, so it's not all that bad. Oh no, don't want to get hit by that. Too much distance. Need to heal. 
need to heal. Ouch. That knocked me off the edge, really? Now for the third try. I will kill him this time. I hope. Try and get him in the center where he can't just knock me off the edge and kill me. That's right, come up to the center. Right where I want you. Now I can't really be knocked off the edge. Or I'm less at risk of being knocked off the edge and dying instantly. I made the same mistake by letting him have too much distance. Yeah, missing twice is not gonna help. I think some of the problem is the fact that I was getting too greedy with damage a couple of times. Maybe I should only get one or two hits and then move instead of trying to hit him about four times.
few more hits to kill him. But if he hits me once I die. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Whew. So that's the end of this video. Until next time, goodbye.